Okay, now we're going to look at how to convert a decimal to a fraction or a mixed number. So step one, we're going to look at the number to the left of the decimal. If it is a zero, then the decimal can convert to a proper fraction. If it is not zero, then the decimal will convert to a mixed number. And so we'll see examples of both types in a moment. So if you do have the whole number, you'll go ahead and write it. And then after that, the steps will be the same. So step two, determine the place value of the final digit. Okay, then write the fraction. And the way we're going to do that is the numerator is going to be the number that is to the right of the decimal point, And the denominator is going to be the place value corresponding to the final digit. So basically what we're going to do here is the denominator is going to be a 1 followed by the same number of zeros as there are digits after the decimal place. So that'll make sense once we look at one of these. So looking at this first one, we have 8.7. So we do have a whole number to the left of our decimal. So we're going to be looking at a mixed number. So we're first going to write the 8, and then now we're going to have our fraction. And so the fraction, the numerator, is just the number to the right of the decimal. That's pretty easy. And then you're going to have a 1 followed by the same number of zeros as there are digits after the decimal spot. Well, there's only 1, so you're just going to have a 1, 0, so 10. So this is 8 and 7 tenths right here. 8 and 7 tenths, and that's our tenths place value right there. Okay, looking at our next one, we have 0 0.81. So this time I can write this as, an, as a uh, proper fraction. I'm not going to have to do a mixed number. So the, the numerator is going to be the value followed by the decimal, which is 81 or 81. And then the denominator, you put a 1, followed by is zeros that are the same amount of digits that follow the decimal. So 1, 2. So I'm going to have 0, 0. So 81 over 100, or 81 one hundredths. 81 one hundredths. And if you look at our directions, it does say to reduce if possible. And I don't believe we can reduce here, but we will see one in a moment where we can. All right, moving on to our next example, C. So kind of similar to A, we have 6.84. So we're going to have a mixed number just like A. So we're going to have 6, and then our fraction, which is going to be 84 over and then 1 followed by two zeros, so 100. Okay, so 6 and 84 one-hundredths. But you'll notice that 84 and 100 are both even. So that does mean that we can reduce it. Now, there's a couple of different ways we could do this, but the way I like to do it is I'll just start by noticing that they're both even, and I will cut them in half. So then this would be 6 and let's see, half of 84 would be 42, and half of 100 would be 50, but they're still even. So let's go ahead and cut them in half again. So then we're going to have 6 and 21 over 25. And I do not believe they have any common factors after that. So you can try, but I don't see any common factors. And there we go. And if you wanted to reduce it all at once, if you notice, that they both had a factor of four, that would be fine. But for me, I like to kind of take it in smaller bite-sized pieces. Okay, looking at D, we have 0 0.0004. Okay, so we're gonna have an improper or a uh, proper fraction here. So my numerator is just gonna be the four, and then my denominator is going to be 1 followed by the number of zeros by the number of place values we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, once again, we can reduce this. And if you want to do this all in one step, that's fine. But once again, I'm just going to kind of do it in bite-sized pieces. I notice they're both even, so I'll cut them in half. 
So half of 4 is 2, and half of 10,000 would be 5,000. And then I notice that they're still even, so I can cut them in half one more time. And so then this will be 1 over, and then half of 5,000 right here is going to be 2,500. And there we go. All right, moving on down, got two more for us here. And so E, let's see, so we're going to have 329 divided by 1, 1, 2, 3, 0, so 1,000. And so we could kind of play around with this and see if it reduces, but I do not believe it does. So you can play around with it if you want, but I believe that's where we're going to get stuck. Okay, one more. So F. So we have 272.42. So we'll take the 272 and then we'll take the 42 and put it over 1 followed by two zeros. So 142 one hundredths. All right, let's see. Once again, they're both even. So I'm going to start by cutting them in half. So let's see, that'd be 21 over 50. And let's see, yeah, the only thing that divides into 21 is 3 and 7, and 50, that neither one of those divide into 50. So we're going to be done right there. And that does it.